Hey guys, it's Liz and we're flipping things. And today I am going to walk you through how I create um, listings on eBay with variations. In today's case, I have shin guards in three sizes. Um, so I have medium, small, and extra small. And what I want to do is create one listing with um, where the customer can choose which size they want. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I do it. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is a video that has been like requested by a lot of people. And I will tell you when I did this um, the first time with a lot of 78 polo shirts in multiple colors and multiple sizes. It took me like an entire night. I couldn't find much out there on how to do it. I wound up like, I mean, I had to Google stuff and it was like, it took me, I didn't film it that first night because it was a very frustrating process. And um, I think I understand it better now. This may not be the best way to do it, but I'm going to show you how I do it because sometimes you do have items that might be better suited for one listing and I'm gonna walk you through it. First things first, the one thing I will say is, for me at least, this has to be done on a computer. I have not found a way yet to create listings with variations on mobile and I do most of my eBay listing on mobile. I just find it more convenient. I take the pictures and then I can list from anywhere. But in this case, um, the only way I've found to do it successfully is on the computer. So let's jump into the computer. I will show you guys how I do it and hopefully it's helpful. Okay, so as you can see, I am in my eBay seller hub um, and I am going to go to create listing. Um, I just want to do a single listing on this one. And the first thing I need to do is tell them what I'm selling. So the UPCs are going to be different on all the sizes on these ones, but I can look up Franklin competition shin guards. Is that one word or two? It's one word. Who would have thought? Okay, so obviously I need to correct my title here. Um, Franklin Competition Shin Guards. And I am going to put Youth Soccer. Yeah. I really feel like Shin Guards should be two words. I'm confused. It, yeah. Okay, we're gonna change it to that. Franklin Competition Shin Guards Youth Soccer. I'm not going to add bold for $4. I'm not gonna add a subtitle for $1.50. Um, for category, it's already telling me that it's sporting goods, team sports, soccer, clothing, and protective gear, which is correct. Now, we're gonna head down to create variations right here. Um, so here's variations. If you sell multiple variations of your item, you can list them all in one multi-quantity fixed price listing. This saves you time and money. Um, so I'm going to start right now with creating my variations and I want to add my own, I don't want model. I want to add my own attribute, which is going to be size because I have three sizes of these. And then my options are going to be XS, S, maybe I should put small. I'm gonna put small and medium. So now I've got size and I have my three sizes, which is extra small, small, and medium. And I'm going to continue. So we're not going to do photos right now. We're going to enter the variations and then I will jump into my phone and add the photos and show you from there. Okay. So basically, if you look up here, we've got three variations in extra small, small, and medium. 
and I am going to enter the price first. Oh, okay, so I'm going to select, I'm gonna price them all the same. And for the price, I'm gonna price them all at $9.99. I got these for $3.05 each. Um, so we're not making a killing, but it's about what they're selling for online. Um, now I need to enter the quantity. The quantity for each of these is different. So I'm gonna choose medium first. I'm gonna enter my quality quantity and um for size medium I have 13 of these I'm gonna hit save you can see right here it's now saved the quantity of 13 um for small I have two I'm gonna save and for extra small I have one Okay, so that's already there. Now, I can enter the UPCs for each of these, um, which I am going to do because they are all different. So on the extra small, it is 025725, I'm gonna do the same thing here for the size small. And the small is 026725, 416240. And for the mediums, zero, oops, 25725, 416. Two, three, three. I'm doing that because sometimes people search them by the UPC. Sometimes resellers search them by the UPC, but um, I want to make sure that that's in there to make it easy for people to find it. So you can see now I've got one quantity of extra small at $9.99. I've included the UPC code. Two in the small, 13 in the medium. They are all priced at $9.99. I could price these all differently if I wanted to. All right. So I am going to save and close the variations now. I know the category is correct. The condition on these item is, items is new with tags. Um, I am leaving the photos out for right now until I am able to get jump on my phone and pull those photos over. The same thing did happen to me when I was listing the shirts for some reason it will not pull the photos i've sent from my phone in i had to do it directly from my phone but we know that the brand is correct it's franklin additional is there a model they're just competition shin guards i'm gonna put that in um they are not a modified item they are not a custom bundle the country of manufacture is China. And for my description, I'm going to write Franklin competition shin guards, new with tags, white with black. Accents, sizes, X, small and medium. All right, and so I'm gonna add some details in here. I don't typically do this, but I'm just, extra small is for up to four feet tall, extra small fits up to fits kids up to four feet tall small fits kids up to 
four foot seven tall and medium fits kids up to five foot three. Great quality soccer shin guards for indoor or outdoor soccer. Um, so nothing special there. I'm just trying to get as many details across as I can. All right, selling details. This is a fixed price listing and I'm gonna start my listings when I submit them. The price range is $9.99. You can see I have a total quantity of 16. Um, I do always require immediate payment. I do accept returns. Um, so shipping. Okay, so I weighed the um, the mediums, which are the biggest, and they came in right at seven ounces. So it's definitely first class shipping. So I have a handling time of two business days. I always ship stuff out the same day or first thing the next day, but I just give myself that leeway in case there's some sort of emergency. I don't know. What if it happens? Um, I don't do a handling cost. No international shipping. I'm not, let's not mess with this today. Um, so our package dimensions, seven by four by four. Custom weight, eight ounces. I don't exclude anywhere. Um, I don't want to boost this. I will do a volume discount. So if they buy two or more, they can save 10% off. Um, and I don't, if you buy two or more, you can get 10% off. That's it. And okay, so now I am going to save this draft. And I'm gonna jump into my phone um, and add the photos from my phone, which is where I took them, which I know is silly, but that's what we're gonna do. And then I will jump back in and show you guys how I finalize this. gonna go in here and basically refresh I went in here and refreshed and you can see there are my photos right here um, you can add and edit variation photos I am NOT gonna do that right this second just because I don't want this video to be two hours long but um, you can add photos so that for each variation it'll show like extra small it'll show an extra small so on and so forth I'm sorry for uh, interrupting but I found this in my room it's uh. You do really it's a find a signed, signed Dan Marino card. And I looked on eBay, and without even signed, it's going for like. No. Okay, just go on to the friend. This thing. one went for forty-two maybe bucks, maybe not even not signed. Know. So Matthew, um, a while back, was sort of gifted my little brother's, all of his, um football, baseball, basketball cards from like the 80s. So this is from 1986, but this is a signed Dan Marino perfect condition card that he just found in his room. Uh, all right, don't let anything happen to this. Yeah. I think, I don't know much about cards, but I think you have to get this graded and authenticated that that's actually his signature. But yeah, you might have some money here. I mean... <laughs> There's a bunch more. The fact that he's on his iPad um, looking up sold comps on eBay makes me just 
Ah, oh, my God. Okay. So I am. Um, $64. Mm. Wait, no, that's not the exact. Sorry, I'll, I'll go now. So I am. Um, I've got my. My photos in, everything's described the way I wanted. I'm gonna save and close. I am probably gonna go back and add a photo for each variation that shows each size. Um, but I have represented all the sizes in the photos just to also sort of cover my butt while I'm doing this for you guys. So we've got three variations, new, new with tags. I think this is basically ready to go. Fixed price, $9.99 and Offer local pickup new. Um, all right, I think we're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and list the item. Not so bad, right? Not so bad. This is the second time I've done this. Each time I've run into this problem where it doesn't want to upload the photos I'm sending from my phone. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if that's a glitch or if it's something that I'm doing wrong, <laughs> but um, I have listed my item for sale. Um, let's go check it out just to see how it looks. And so here you can see we've got Franklin competition, shin guards, youth soccer, new with tags. Here you go. I can select my size. I've got two available in the size small. I have 13 available in the size medium. Um, it looks great. I am really happy. So I hope that was helpful. I hope I didn't like make it more difficult than it needed to be. <laughs> um, the, the, the photo thing tripped me up the first time. I couldn't get the photos to work. Um, I am going to go back in on my phone and add a photo to each variation that shows the individual size, but it's not as hard as it felt that first time that I did it. As long as you're on your desktop, it's pretty simple and you can create any sort of variation that you want. So it might be color. In the polos, it was like they could choose between turquoise, gray, green, red, and then choose a color from all of those. And so basically you can do multiple variations. So it's not just, okay, I just want them to be able to choose size. If you had different sizes or different colors, or there's all kinds of different variations that you can create. It's pretty easy. Let me know if you have any questions or if this was helpful. Um, if you'd like more videos like this, let me know. I, I am no expert, um, but I do like to, when I figure something out, try to share it with you guys because I think this is a good option when you have multiples in an item. Um, so I hope it was helpful. I don't know if you guys can tell. I got a little sunburned yesterday. It was 77 in Buffalo. And you know, the first time the sun actually comes out, I get a sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Irish. I'm Irish. I mean, I just have to look out the window to get a sunburn. So, um, I hope you guys are having a beautiful week. I hope this video is helpful. Let me know in the comments if you haven't liked and subscribed and you wanted to, that would be awesome, but you don't have to, but it would be cool. Um, and let me know if there's anything else that you guys would like me to make a video on. Um, I appreciate everyone that asked for this one after I mentioned that I had figured it out. So, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.